things that truly say that winter is here. One of them is survival kits. Let's get into this. Okay guys, like I said, it is definitely winter time because we're going to be doing a mini survival kit kind of challenge and explanation. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking, this is a really interesting mini survival kit, and it certainly is. And that's because, unlike so many people that did this whole small or Altoids mini challenge, I didn't really want to skimp out on making sure that this was still a very realistic survival kit. I feel like a lot of people do these challenges and just throw together a lot of cool things that might, could maybe work. But I wanted to retain a solid kit that, so that if you guys were inspired, you could build something similar to this yourself. So that being said, as with all my little survival kits, or really any of my survival kits, they're all based around the Dave Canterbury 5 C's of survivability, but of course always taken with what I, what I think is going to work best for each kit. So it's not necessarily having the largest or the smallest of anything. It's just trying to find something compact that's still really workable. So for this one, I did choose an Altoids mini kit for the actual survival parts. But I decided to go with a larger ferro rod and a larger knife. So for the cutlery, of course, I went with a little Topps MSK. And it's a perfect knife for a mini survival kit because it still allows you to get a pretty good grip and have a really good workable blade. Not to mention you can also strike ferro rods off of this upper toward the tip part, but it works well. And even if you can't, the uh, ferro rod that I chose for this kit is the Exotac Nano Striker XL. So this actually has a striker built into it. That's the ferro rod itself. You guys that have been around the channel know that I love the hell out of this little uh, ferro rod, if I can get it to work. <laughs> you guys know that I love the hell out of this ferro rod, but that's because it works really well and it's reasonably small. And like I said, it has the striker built in to the actual kit itself. So that's our cutlery, that's our combustion. Now let's jump into the actual kit itself. So I have it based off the back of this Kydex sheath. And I have a nice little piece of ranger band here, of course, to keep everything secure and to keep the top from popping off of it because with such a mini kit like this, I don't feel like I can do much justice without like making it automatically want to open on its own. So I threw a little ranger band, not just to make sure that I could connect with the rest of it, but to keep this thing shut. Okay, so once again, talking about the five C's, you have in the five C's of survivability, which we're obviously not going to be able to cover all in such a tiny kit. We have combustion cutlery. You have a container, which that's what this whole little mini kit is for. And then you have cordage. So I know this sounds pretty basic, like there's not much to it, but I really wanted to put as much bank line in here as I possibly could. So that's exactly what I did. So I just put some, a pretty good amount, this is about five to six feet of bank line. And then to fill the rest of it up, I put uh, a couple tinder quicks in here just to help with the combustion process. And then lastly, just for those people that are wondering, I put some razor blades in here for an extra level of cutlery. And then lastly, I should say, the extra lastly, is I snaked a little uh, zip tie in here. So there you guys go. That is my mini Altoids tin kit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I wanted to keep something that was still really a survival kit because throwing a tiny little blade like this in there and saying, oh, you have cutlery covered with one of these little razors. No, you really don't. They're good and they can work as scrapers and strikers for the ferro rod. But at the end of the day, you're going to want a real knife. So that is my kit and that's how it's set up. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, God bless and I'm out.